Okay, so we have problem one, two, three, four, and five. So one, you're just calculating the pH of the buffer. Shh, please. Number two, you're gonna calculate the pH of a buffer. Number three, you're gonna calculate the pH after some base is acid and compare it. Please don't talk. Number four, calculate the pH of a buffer again. And number five is paired. So these two here, two and three, three and So two and three are based off of each other. Four and five are paired together. Number one's by itself. So these are five questions. I think they shouldn't make, take more than around two minutes each. So I'll give you 10 minutes. So number one, two, and four, it's just finding it given the data that it gives us. So I'm going to take the I know that pH equals the negative log of Ka, correct? Yep. All right, then what? Plus log. Plus log of which one on top? Base. Base, Base is the salt, right? So 0.7 over 0.3. And what did we end up with? 3.51. 3 Okay, who had that or extremely close to it? Okay, so I feel 100% confident you know how to find the pH of a buffer given the concentration of the base of the acid. All right, number two, same thing, pH equals the negative log. It's the same number again. So, if you, yeah, it's the same number for all of them. Plus, so I would have just figured that out myself and put like, I don't know, whatever, 3.6 or whatever that value is. Oh, I just marked her absent. Let me fix this. All right, plus log of B. Which one is that one? Oh, I did this wrong, didn't I? They were tied together. I didn't read this very well. Sorry, one and two were connected, right? Yeah, they were all connected. I apologize. Whoops, I just didn't read it very carefully when I did it. Okay. So, sorry about that. Looking at this, we add NaOH. So if I add base, what number gets bigger? The base. So it went to 0.78 and the acid went down the same. Correct? Yeah. And what did you end up with? What? Which is definitely not that answer. You did 0.7 plus and down here. <laughs> Well, you just you had point seven for both on accident when you typed them in. Okay, what did this end up to be? Three point seven. All right, calculate the pH of point oh eight molar NaOH. So I just take fourteen, and I subtract. Remember, because we're going to find the pOH technically, the negative log of point oh eight. What do we end up with? Okay, so it should have gone from 3.51 pretty much to 12, but instead it went barely up 0.2 pHs because it's a buffer. All right, what's that? No, well, it depends, some will, but most likely it's gonna be like later today where we play the game show, is it a buffer? 
it's not it's not it's not really a game show that makes it sound fun but it's ap chemistry so it's not fun all right okay number four um so they were all connected why didn't i read this more careful because they were all the haircuts looking fresh tim all right they were all connected but luckily you figured that out Okay, so we have again pH equals the negative log. This is for four of 7.1 times 10 to the negative four plus log. We add an acid, so the base should go down, right? So we should have 0.66, is that correct, on top? And 0.34 on top, or bottom, sorry. And we end up with what value? Okay, so again, not a whole lot of change. And then for five, we would have just taken the negative log of 0 0.00, sorry, 0 0.04. And yep, because if we have the concentration of H plus, then we just do the negative log. This one we did it because we had the concentration of OH minus. And what do we end up with here? 1.34. Okay, so it should have dropped a ton. It didn't. Should have rose a ton, but it didn't. That's because we had a buffer solution. Okay, who got all of them right? Good. Okay, there is a series of problems like this on the test. Okay, there is one exactly like this on the test. Okay, next. Sure, it's given on the test. Yeah, we already did this. Okay. So this is from last year. I did fix this date. Uh, plan for today, buffer problems. And like, is it a buffer? We already did the buffer problem. So is it a buffer? That's coming up next. Now, I want to state this. I've only, someone's asked me already, what should I be doing to get ready? Uh, you you got to start reviewing on your own if you want to pass. Now we will review as a class um, coming up in a couple of weeks, but the AP test is, it's tricky. It's really hard. It's harder than the ACT, all right? It's way harder than the AP bio because there's no writing. If you're a good writer, you typically can do fairly decent on the AP bio. This is math. You either know it and can do it or you can't. So anyway, you should start studying. The number one way to study is to stop talking while I'm talking. That's the first part of studying. The second one is to go to AP Classroom and just start at Unit 1, Standard 1, and watch those five minute videos and do the practice problems. If you did maybe 20 minutes a night, you could probably have reviewed every single topic by the time the AP test happens now. Now, I know you, and I wouldn't have done it either, but I also didn't take AP chemistry. You won't want to do that because uh, that is just a lot of time. But you cannot review the AP for the AP test on Saturday and Sunday before. Like, it's just not possible. Um, you, your brain can't handle that much information in 48 hours. So I would start now. It's three, it's the 25th of March. So you have a month and a week. Five weeks, your brain can handle all that information since it's review. We will do mostly nothing after the AP test. Are you okay with that? Like literally nothing? Yeah, like one year we played Flappy Birds and cards and games. And one, you can pop popcorn. Flux, I do not know that game. Did he? Okay, yeah. Fishtopia all day, every day. Okay. All right. But shh, before we do that, we gotta we gotta get ready. All right. So here we go. We have A, B, C, and D, and we want to know if the substance is a buffer, because the problem 
a buffered problem is not required to tell you it's a buffer. It won't, it might, but we just kind of have to look. And, and you, you can't just look here and think, hey, this has HCl in it. It's not a buffer because buffer doesn't have strong acid in it, right? It has a weak acid and conjugate base. So you might look at that and right off the bat, you're like, no, that I don't know the answer because I don't remember from a year ago, but this could be a buffer even though it's HCl. Okay, so let's walk through them. Are you with me? Okay, for each one, I'm going to draw out a beaker and I'm going to write what stuff's in it. And remember, the requirements for a buffer is you have to have a weak acid and conjugate base pair. If it has those two things, then yes, it's a buffer. If it doesn't, then no, it's not one. What makes it a pair? You have to have them both. They both have to be present. How about this? Is that better? Okay, so we look here, we got our beaker. And in it, I have 30 milliliters of 0.2 molar HCl. So inside here, I want to know the moles of H plus. So to do that, I take 0 0.03 liters and I multiply it by 0 0.2. And you get... These are moles. That was silly. Well, that was pretty good. Looks like moats, but whatever. So I have this. All right. And I have three grams of NAF. So I need to know the moles of F minus. I don't care about Na plus because it's the conjugate acid of a strong base no i was in my head i was trying to make sure i didn't say it backwards i was having a stroke my wife my wife was right my wife like sat me down last night for the first time in our entire marriage and she said i'm worried about your health <laughs> she's like you have a lot of stress you eat like crap and you never sleep and I was like, what's your point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> anyway, she loves That's me. Like a teenager response. <laughs> yeah, it was. All right, NAF is 23 plus 19, so that's 42 grams. You okay with that? So what's 1 42nd? 0 0.071? All right. of F minus. Okay, now I don't actually care about these numbers specifically yet. There's still another step first. My question is of these two values right here, can I form a weak acid? I can. Will I have excess of conjugate base yes i will have both now all you're looking for here is a yes or no answer so this is yes but let's look at the math so how much weak acid am i going to form 0.006 okay that is always equal to the amount of h plus present because in here H plus is looking to find some F minus so it can make some HF. All of the H plus will grab F minus to form weak acid. So I have 0 0.006 moles of HF. Then how much excess conjugate base is there? 0 0.065. And how did I find that number? 
Good. I subtracted the small number from the big number. See, even got it. Oh, 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 I got it. Okay, so now it does not ask, but if I gave you the Ka for HF, and was this the 6.8 times 10 to the negative four? It doesn't matter. But if I gave you that, now you could find the pH, correct? Do you want to do it or do you feel okay? What? You feel okay? Yeah, I'd rather try to figure this out first. Okay, then we'll move on. So is number A a buffer? Yes. Even though, even though it looks like I have strong acid, I did, but chemistry happens first. This breaks, yep, it breaks up. This finds that, whoops, that error was supposed to end here. And so really, even though it looks like a strong acid problem, it turned into a weak acid because chemistry happens. All right. It's okay. If the, if the fluorine is bigger than the chlorine, then in this scenario, then it doesn't matter what whether or not the chlorine is strong or weak. The chloride ion? Yeah, the chloride. Yeah. Is the chloride playing this at all? No, because okay. chloride is the conjugate base of a strong acid. So it has no ability. Chlorine is not out there hunting for an H to go this way because the equilibrium favors this side by almost an infinite amount. So you just have to have extra sodium. You have to have excess of the conjugate base. And so if, go ahead. Yeah. Yep. If you have excess hydrogen, not a buffer. It's just a strong acid problem. And we'll have one of those probably in here. <clears throat> Maybe. What? So if you have excess conjugate base, that means it's going to be a buffer? As long as you have a weak acid. As long as you have weak acid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Letter B. 50 milliliters of one molar HF and 50 grams of NAF. This tells me right now I have HF and F minus. Yes, so. so is that a buffer? Yes, sir. yes. I don't have to do any secondary chemistry first. I only had to do that in number one because I had to see if weak acid could be formed from this pair and it could. Okay, so letter B, piece of cake. Wouldn't really care much about the volumes or the grams because it just straight tells me I have weak acid and I have the conjugate base. And once again, we won't worry about NA. Okay, so that one was easy. C, once again, we have HCl and we have NAF. I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with 20 milliliters. I still think it's probably supposed to be, I don't know. It's probably supposed to be 0 0.2 liters. What's 20, 40 seconds? 0. 0.1 something? Okay. Let's do this then. Sorry. I'm sure I meant it to be 200 milliliters, which would have been 0. 0.2 liters. And then this will emphasize what I want it to emphasize. I apologize about that. <laughs> okay. Well, let me straighten it out here. Okay, in my beaker now, 
I'm, I'm adding HCl, so I want to know the moles of HCl. So I take 0.2 and times it by one. And there are 0.2 moles of H plus. We arrive with that. Okay, then I need to know the moles of NaF. I don't really know why I'm drawing these arrows everywhere, whatever. Moles of F minus. So now I take 20 and divide it by the molar mass of NaF, which is 42. And you guys told me it was what? It's 2.1. Still 0.46, <laughs> shoot, Tom. So what is it? Well, this still doesn't do what I wanted it to do then. So is this a buffer? Yes. yes. Tom, what is your deal? Maybe I meant this to be the point too. It doesn't matter. But yeah, this one was. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's. Well, did you get A? Were you able to do A? I was concerned about. No? We'll do D in a minute. Were you able to do A? Okay, well, then you are confused. Okay, I'm going to do E. You don't have to do E, but let me, I'm going to make it do what I want it to. How about that? We're going to have. What about, what about the fact that he doesn't have any concentrations? D? Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, how? That's about really important. <laughs> don't concentrate on yeah, the fact. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't actually have to have them. I promise you. I don't need them. Like, you think I screwed up, but it really isn't that big a deal. Okay, look at E for a minute. All right. And 0 0.01 grams of NaF. There's no way I've screwed this up this time. Okay. What am I holding? Okay. This, I promise, will do the math I want it to do. Another? Two million? At that point, you can just say two meters. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. We need to do the same thing here. We need to know the moles of H plus present. To do that, we take the volume in liters and multiply it by the molarity. So 0.2 times five is what, Timmy? One. So we have one mole of H plus. This is going to be quite the pH, just trust me here. All right, then I need to know the moles of F minus. And it is 0 0.01 divided by 42. Times 10 to the what? Oh, yeah. It's really small. You make sure. All right. Now, my friends. Will I make any HF? Yeah, I'll make 0 0.000238 moles HF. But how many moles of H plus do I have? Oh, basically one. Are you okay with that? It's one minus this. Okay. And then I still have, or sorry, I have no more F minus. So would this be a buffer? No. So what, how would I find the pH of this? All right, I take the negative log of one, basically, and it'd be zero, right? Okay, so here, here's what you need to know. And I, I'm really annoyed, maybe it's the next slide. Nope, <laughs> hey, right here. If H plus is in, excess just take the negative log of the h plus concentration it's not a buffer so you don't do henderson hasselbeck you just plug this in 
Yep, if you have excess H plus, it's not going to be a buffer. And to find for OH, I guess it's for the minus. So yep. Okay, let's come back now. And we're on D, correct? Okay, yeah. letter D. I mean, how do you do it without buffer Well, this is how. What two requirements do I need? What two requirements? I need excess what? All right, conjugate base and a weak acid. HCl and KOH are both strong, right? So all I have in here is HOH and K plus Cl minus. Do I have either one of these? No. Nope. So I could give you concentrations. If this problem, if D asked, what is the pH? Then you would need to know. But just the question, is it a buffer? So if you have, so these are summaries. Strong acid and strong base, never a buffer. No, because you can have a, a the same type of chemistry with a strong base to react to make a weak base. Oh, so you make like a reverse buffer. Yeah, right. Like everything in this chapter, and really on the AP test most of the time too, they treat it from acid land, but you can do the, everything the same way so from base. Do you ever try doing it as if the base was an acid? Yeah, do it. It's everything's the same. You just, if it asks for pH, you just remember to subtract from 14 at the end. Is there ever an exception to that? Well, I'm sure there could be, but not ever that I know of. Yeah, if, if these were equal molar and equal volume, then it'd be seven. It, look, we could just do it. So if I gave you, 50 milli, let's just say they're both one molar, just so the math is easy. You all right with that? So all you do here is figure out which one is in excess. Okay, and since I made them the same uh, molarity, then you must have more of this, right? How much of it? 0 0.03 moles, right? So how would I find the pH? Yeah, that's true. I did skip that step. Yeah, we, we skipped that the whole time. So, okay, he's, he's definitely right here. So we have 0 0.05 moles of H plus, right? from here, 0 0.02 moles of OH, correct? So we subtract and we get 0 0.03 moles of H plus left over. And I just, I wrote moles and it was moles and then I went straight here, but technically we should definitely, we have to have the concentration. So we would divide it by 0.07, and that's what you would take the negative log of. This is the same mom leaving the same message, I'll guarantee you. It's a lot lower than what it's Yeah, online driver's ed, what a nightmare. Okay, so then you just take the negative log of this answer. It's like point yeah, that's, that's, when I make up stuff, we end up out of the range. Okay, so we have these two summaries. If H plus is in excess, all you do to find the pH is the normal. 
if OH, like if we were doing a buffer with a base, if OH, you would do everything normal, just subtract from 14 at the end. Strong acid and only strong base, never a buffer. You might. So how do we, is this a note for me? Nope. How do we summarize this was a buffer? What were the two requirements? Okay, you have to have weak acid and excess conjugate base. All right, and as written, these two did, right? And these two were no, right? Good. Those are the same things, right? Okay. It's nothing different. So what is the pH of a solution of 250 milliliters of 1.0 molar HCl and 10 grams of LICN? So look what we have. We have a strong acid and we are going to have the conjugate base of a weak acid, right? So we just have to do the math to figure out if I have excess conjugate base. That's really what we do here. So we are gonna take 250, change it to liters, right? So I have 0.25 times one. Oh, I love that math. And that's 0.25, right? Got it. And that's moles of what? Okay, you can say HCl, but I don't care about the Cl. So I'm just gonna say H plus. All right, and then I have 10 grams of lithium cyanide. So 19, 14, 34 is the denominator, I think. It's like 32.9. Oh, it is? Okay, oh, that's pretty far off. 32.9. So 10 30 thirds is roughly equal to, I don't like how far this line went. What were you thinking, Tom? Oh, what a good band back in the day. Doesn't matter. No, it's fine. <laughs> It's like this too. And there's like an upside down thing in it, like an exclamation mark. It's old, don't even worry about it. Okay, now this means I can make how much HCN? Right? Is there excess CN minus? Yes, how much? Okay. Okay, is it a buffer? It sure is. If it wasn't, we would just, we'd probably have excess H plus, we'd take the negative log of that. We would take the negative log of the excess H plus? Yeah. Oh, this is a very weak. How do I know this is a very weak acid? Very large negative exponent. All right, what do I have? Anyone have that typed in yet? Okay, fine. Right. Going too fast. Oh, that's a good point. 
Oh, wait. It is time. I told a girl all last year she would never pass the AP test because she took too long on her test because she'd literally take three days. I can't name names, but her last name might rhyme with a word, Franson. <laughs> and she rocked it. So I guess I was wrong. I was happily wrong. Like I wasn't like, oh, I can't believe it. I was like, oh, sweet. I was wrong. 8.6. All right. <laughs> yep. No, I'm aware of but because there's never mind. <laughs> I'm aware that this number should be under seven as well. But I also know that Tom Davidson just makes up numbers. So it's not that big a deal. <laughs> like I'm sure I made this number up. I I'm sure of it. So I wouldn't stress too much. But here we go. Are we all right with this so far? The math process? Okay. Now. The solution, we're going to add this much NaOH. So tell your partner what goes down and what goes up. All right. So the base goes up, the acid goes down. I'm going to, it's all this stuff plus the log of my base went up to what? Point one five three or point. Okay, so 0.063. Okay, because we took 0.01 and times it by one to get that number. Right? Okay, and then this one is 0.15. No, it's not 0.024. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. What do we have? Okay. The buffer worked. Yeah, it'd be a big deal. All right. We go with this process. Typically speaking, on the test, it's the secondary chemistry that gets you in trouble. Make sure and check how much H plus and how much CN you have, and then work it out. Would have gone to 12? Ooh, look how nicely typed this is. It's official. Yeah, I type this myself. When do I type stuff? Not on this crap, huh? That's all I'm saying. Why don't you try this question? We'll run out of time. Make sure I start here on Monday. <laughs>